Well, protecting yourself from this new COVID variant, Cheryl, looks a lot like what you've already been doing throughout this pandemic, washing your hands, wearing your mask, keeping the distance. But a health official I spoke to here with VDH says keeping that distance could prove even more crucial with this new strain. A new variant of the COVID-19 virus called B117 is believed to be more contagious based on observation by scientists. I think soon probably we'll be seeing it in more places. It'll be more common throughout even our state. But just how much more contagious? At this point, all we have is conjecture. Is still left to be determined. The first case of the variant was reported in Northern Virginia on Monday in an individual with no recent travel history. That would mean that there's already community spread. Rebecca Butterfield, epidemiologist with the Richmond and Henrico Health District, says that's not cause for alarm and actually to be expected but just another reason to play it safe. Right now, the same things that have protected us for the last year really continue to protect us. And with the spread of this new COVID strain, some are asking, should I layer up and wear two masks, one on top of the other? Butterfield says, depending on the kind of mask you're wearing, that's not out of the question. If you have a mask that's single ply, it may be better to wear two masks. She says double ply fabric tends to catch respiratory particles better, which could be more effective in preventing the spread. So, you know, barring an N95, which is difficult to get and really in, in scarcity should be reserved for our, for our um, frontline workers in the hospitals and, and emergency personnel. I think the best thing that you can do is just look for a two ply mask. Make sure that it um, is secure around your face. And beyond wearing a mask, keeping your distance could prove to be even more crucial now. If the B117 variant is more contagious, Butterfield says it could increase your risk of getting the virus in settings where you can't maintain physical distance, like at a party or even at your office. But if you're already taking precautions, it shouldn't necessarily impact your day to day activities. I don't think that it makes going to the grocery store any more dangerous if you're masking and physically distancing. It doesn't make any of those necessities any more dangerous, um, but it does really underscore the need to to not go to work when you're sick, to keep that distance, um, whether at work or or socializing or anywhere else. All good advice and the most important thing she says when it comes to mask wearing is simply that you do have a mask that you are wearing it that it fits nice and snug over your face. When it comes to the B117 variant, the good news health officials tell us is that studies show the vaccine is effective against this strain. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Shannon Lilly, CBS 6.